Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to InfoGamer. In this lesson, we're going to keep building our tic-tac-toe game. In the last video, we showed you how to create the winner display function. And in this video, we want to show you how to make it so that your game will keep track of scores. And that way, the players of your game can play multiple rounds of tic-tac-toe, and it'll keep a running total. So let's get started. All right, so here we have our project open inside of Unity. And the first thing that you'll notice is that we already have placeholders for the player's scores. And that is this zero here underneath the X for the X player score, and this zero here underneath the O for the O player score. And so all we have to do inside our script is increment the score of whichever player wins the game, and then change the value of these text objects to display that score. And so let's start by opening our game controller script inside of Visual Studios. First thing that we're going to do is create two variables, and these are going to be int variables, and they are going to be for holding the score of each player. So for this first one, I'm going to type public int, and this will be x players score. And then the next one will be a public int, and this will be o players score. Once you've created these variables, let's go ahead and scroll down to our winner display function. We will add the code into this function because we already have the if statements checking to see which player won the game. And so all we have to do is if the whose turn equals zero, we need to set the x player's score to be incremented. So I'm going to say x player score plus plus and then a semicolon, and then for this else if statement where we're checking to see if whose turn equals one, we want to do the same thing but for the O player's score variable. So now that we are incrementing the score of each player that wins a round of tic-tac-toe, the next thing that we need to do is update the display for each player's score with this variable. And so to do this, we need to create two more variables up at the top. And these are both going to be of type text. And so I'm going to type public and then text. And this first one is going to be x players score text. And the next one is going to be public text and then o players score text. Once you've created these variables, let's scroll back down to the winner display function. And inside each of these if statements, we want to add a line after we increment the player's score. And this will be to update the text value of our newly created text variables. And so this first one, after the x player score plus plus, we want to say x player score text dot text, and that will access the text field. And then we can set it equal to x player's score without the text and then we want to say dot to string because it's an int value and we need to turn it into a string in order to save it into the text field and then we need parentheses because to string is a function and a semicolon and then what we can do is we can either copy this line or just type it again after the o player score plus plus line we want to say o player score text dot text equals o player's score without the text dot to string parentheses semicolon. Now we can go ahead and save our script and go back to Unity. Once you're back inside of Unity, before we hit play, we need to assign values to those text variables that we created in our game controller script. So I'm going to select our game controller and then scroll down to the bottom where we can see x player score text and O player score text and you can see that it says none text and so we need to assign those values. So I'm going to expand our canvas and then I'm going to expand the X score game object and the O score game object. I'm then going to grab this text game object that's underneath the X score and drag it into the X player score text and then I'm going to grab this text one game object underneath the O score game object and drag that into the O player score text field. To double check, I'm going to select each of those game objects that I assigned and make sure that the text field says zero because if it says zero, 
then we know that we grabbed the right game object because that's referring to this zero and this zero. So now that we have those variables assigned, let's go ahead and play our game. And we're going to make it so that the X player wins this time. So we go like this. And there we go. We can see that the X player's score is now incremented to be 1. Let's play through it one more time and have the O player win. So let's say like that. And there we go. We have the O player score is now incremented to show 1. Now currently there's no way for us to play another round of tic-tac-toe without restarting our game completely. But if we restart our game then the player scores will go back to zero. And so at the moment there's no way for us to increment the player scores to anything higher than one. But in the next video we'll be creating a rematch button that when pressed will reset our game except for the player scores. That way our game will go full circle and people will be able to play multiple rounds and tally up scores. So that's everything that we're going to cover in this tic-tac-toe video on how to increment the player's score. I hope you were able to follow along and that you found this video informational. If there's anything that you have questions about, make sure that you leave them in the comments below. Also make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel so you can get regular updates when we publish new videos. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.